Welcome to the Coon Rapids Historical Marker Project, presented by the Coon Rapids Historical Commission and CTN Studios. You have accessed information regarding the historical marker for the Joyce Chapel. Long ago, what stood next to the cemetery was the Joyce Chapel, a modest wood frame building built in 1902. It was the first church built in Anoka Township. Many early residents of what is now the city of Coon Rapids were Irish Catholics who attended services at St. Stephen's in the town of Anoka. Protestant worshipers traveled to Anoka or Champlin to attend church. In 1900, James Carter, an Anoka blacksmith and member of the Methodist Episcopal Church of, in Anoka, wanted to establish a church for the Protestant farmers who lived east of the city of Anoka. In December 1901, a quarterly conference of the Anoka Methodist Church incorporated the new rural congregation under the name of Joyce Chapel after Bishop Isaac W. Joyce, Methodist Bishop of Minnesota. B. Shattuck donated a half-acre site for the church building and cemetery. In January 1902, the cornerstone of the chapel was laid by Joseph Holden of Anoka and the work of the building began in full force, directed by Eric Johnson. Building the facility was a community effort. All of the labor was donated by the members. Using a nail keg as a pulpit, James Carter preached the first sermon to members seated on chairs and boxes brought from home. The nail keg was replaced the following Sunday by what was described as a fine pulpit, made and presented by the Reed and Sherwood Lumber Company of Anoka. Along with Mr. Carter, Ezra Clemens was also a pastor of the new church. Clemens is the cousin of Samuel Clemens, better known as Mark Twain. In 1909, the membership of Joyce Chapel had grown so much it now had a strong financial position and broke away from the Anoka Methodist Church. It had become a church community all of its own. It is interesting to note the number of women who served as pastors at Joyce Chapel. One of these women was Reverend Mrs. Ina Gates Stout, a free Baptist minister appointed to Joyce Chapel in October 1912. She helped arrange a unique partnership during her time of leadership. She invited the Baptists in the area who had no church of their own to organize a class and worship with the Methodists. This was an unusual arrangement at the time, but it's helped to bring about several positive developments within the church. Under Reverend Stout's leadership, the Ladies Aid Society, Christian Endeavor Society, and Farmers Club were created, groups that helped the community in a variety of ways. Mrs. Stout served as pastor of Joyce Chapel from 1912 to 1916. Reverend Edith Grays took over as pastor at Joyce Chapel in 1916 and served the church for 12 years. Prior to her arrival at Joyce Chapel, Grays had a history of service with the Church of Anoka. She took over pastoral duties for her husband after he became ill. Reverend Grays' direction helped build a strong church and a Sunday school, as well as a strong financial position which allowed all of its bills to be paid in full. Big changes came for the church in 1954 as the Coon Rapids Village Council purchased the Joyce Chapel for $2,500 to use the building as a temporary town hall. The building stood for over 40 more years, serving several different purposes including a city hall, real estate office, and music store, until in 1999 when it was taken down to widen Hanson Boulevard. The history of Joyce Chapel lives on here today as the cemetery remains. A link to the past a resting place for some of the church's founding members.